It's been more than three years since the Chinese city of Wuhan reported the world's first COVID-19 cases. Now, almost half a year since China reopened its borders, locals are keen to move on with life. But as CNA's Olivia Xiong found out, when she revisited the city, leaving the pandemic completely behind may prove more difficult. Suiting up for a performance has taken on a familiar yet different feel for Wuhan theatre actor Li Jinglun. Gone are the days of performing to an empty theatre and online audience since China relaxed its strict zero-COVID measures at the end of last year. In fact, the performance troupe saw its shows sold out during the Labor Day holidays in May and is looking at expanding seating capacity soon. We first spoke to Mr. Lee in April 2020, as Wuhan emerged from the world's very first COVID lockdown. The city of 11 million people sealed off for 76 days, and he had then just completed what he thought would be his last volunteer shift, checking exit documents at a neighbourhood. Catching up with him again later that year, he expressed optimism that life would return to normal soon. Little did he expect to be called on to volunteer again at the end of last year, as authorities doubled down on their zero-COVID policy to try and contain the more contagious Omicron strain spreading in the country. In January, China's health authorities said about 80% of the population had been infected by COVID-19, the spike in cases putting a strain on the country's healthcare system and frontline workers, something which Mr. Li felt moved at the time to write and record a skit about, although it was never made public. 就是在那样一个时候被拿出来做为宣传点既然向好那我们就先唱一下一下美好的明天也可能在若干年后我们拍一个遗忽的故事或者是拍一个执手的事情在这个疫情中他们的这些事情不会忘记的 like many other parts of the country, Mo in Wuhan are choosing to go maskless, and the scanning of health codes, once a way of life, now a thing of the past. Although some, like this Wuhan resident whose mother was among the first wave of those infected, said there are some memories that will remain. There are also still physical reminders of the last three and a half years. Well, not much has really changed since we last visited the Huanan Seafood Market about three years ago. As you can see, it still remains boarded up and inaccessible since it was first closed back in January 2020. That's when the first COVID-19 cases linked to the market were first announced. Today, it still also remains at the centre of a controversial debate over the origins of the virus. China in March released data it had gathered in late 2019 from the market, but was criticised by the World Health Organization for not sharing the genetic information earlier. Separate teams of international and Chinese scientists have also made differing conclusions from the data. This goes back to the early politicisation, particularly between the United States and China, at the governmental levels. Um, the reality is that any data is now going to be contested not just on questions of scientific accuracy and merit, but also with people trying to score political points off the data being released. But while questions remain over what narrative authorities will take if another flare-up occurs, Professor Thomas says what's clear is the world may have already lost its opportunity to see how it can learn from the COVID experience to better prevent another pandemic. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Wuhan.